All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're ready. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 Netflix film called Hinder Strike, starring John Cena and Jackie Chan. Here's the plot. Two ex-special forces must escort a group of civilians along Baghdad's highway of death to the safety of the Green Zone. Here is some of the cast. So the best way to describe this film is a low-budget rip-off of the Fast and Furious franchise combined with the Expendables. Now the CGI was pretty rough, but what was really rough was the brightness of the tan yellowness of the color grading. Noticed it right away as it was right in your face for much of the film. I don't know what was up with the camera, but you could sli uh, slightly see uh, blurriness of on the faces when it comes to the uh, actors and the objects was slightly away from the camera. It was hard to follow along when it came to the Chinese to English dial, uh, dialogue transition subtitles as they was going way too fast, which they tend to do. Now Jackie Chan did his martial arts thing while John Cena did his bubbling over the top strength thing. But I will say the best and only part of this film was them together. It got some funny, what somewhat funny at times. Honestly, I was bored and couldn't get into the story though. The action would have been good if they didn't overdo it with the over the dramatic camera movements, even though it had some cool spots. And the over the top to pole line, pole line jump moves and people flying from hits and kicks. That typical Chinese stereotypical martial arts film, which for me, that can go either way depending on the film. The comedy was funny, but definitely plenty of hits and misses and spots. Here's my right now come back to my final thoughts. I went in with low expectations, still thought the film was just okay. It was really funny at times, but I've seen so much better. The best part, part was the comedy, and the worst part was the badly done CGI that was used way too much. Honestly, it made it look cheap. But let me know your comments in below what you thought. Um, let me know your comments below on your thoughts. Um, I, there's not really much to say about this film. It was very, it's kind of disappointing. Um, I did go on with expectations, but it doesn't mean I wasn't excited to go into it because I, I like Jackie Chan and I'm starting to like John Cena when it comes to comedy. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I expect more from a Jackie Chan film. Uh, definitely something I would expect from a John Cena film, so it's kind of conflicting. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it is what it is, unfortunately. Uh, there has been definitely some, in my opinion, down, uh, downers when it comes to Netflix films. But for the most part, they're pretty good. Uh, their series can be a little bit iffy nowadays, but, you know, what it is. Um, so yeah, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe and skull.